Good morning. Safety message for the week of September 19th. Most common factory manufacturing related accidents and injuries. I took a, uh, a message off of a website and that will be made available to you when I send the email this week. One, overexertion. Physically demanding nature of most factory work puts workers at risk of developing what's called musculoskeletal uh, disorders, MSDS. Includes uh, injuries to the joints, muscles, tendons, ligaments, and other parts of the human muscular skeletal system. Overexertion can also cause dehydration and heat exhaustion. Sometimes I think we don't think about that, especially in confined spaces where hot machinery is in operation. Repetitive stress. Workers in plants are often required to be on their feet in the same position for extended periods of time while performing the same task over and over. Can lead to repetitive strain injuries which affect the muscular, skeletal, or nervous system. Slips. Factory workers are prone to slipping and tripping over what's required. They are required to move quickly, especially if floor surfaces are uneven, cluttered, or covered in, in spilt liquids. Slipping and tripping in a factory environment can, can, can result in definitely severe injuries due to the presence of sharp objects, harmful materials, and dangerous equipment. Machine-related accidents. Industrial machines are complex. They contain numerous moving parts. If the operator of such machine loses concentration for a moment and gets a limb or a piece of clothing trapped in the mechanism, it can cause some severe injuries resulting in amputation or even death. Some machines get extremely hot, okay? When an operation, putting operators at risk, okay? <clears throat> Chemical exposure. In factory settings where hazardous chemicals are used, the risk of serious injury is ever present. Workers in such environments can suffer respiratory problems through the inhalation of toxic fumes or severe burns from contact with corrosive substances. Prolonged exposure to harmful materials can lead to a range of health conditions. And in some cases, it can cause life-threatening diseases like cancer. Flammable chemicals pose an additional risk since they catch fire or explode if not stored or handled correctly. Burns. In almost any factory, setting workers are at risk, all right, or of suffering burns from fires, corrosive substances, or hot machine parts. Fires can cause breakout due to a range of things, including faulty wiring, or improper storage, handling of proper materials. Falling object injuries. Caused by falling are too common in manufacturing sector. Workers can be killed, severely maimed when pieces of equipment or objects fall on them and from elevated areas. Transportation. Large number of injuries in factories are caused by accidents involving on-site vehicles like forklifts. A single vehicle collision in a factory environment can cause multiple casualties. Exposure to extreme temperatures. Some factory employees are required to work in extremely hot or cold conditions. If these workers do not have the proper clothing or not trained properly, they too can suffer from conditions such as hyperthermia, heat stroke, heat exhaustion if untreated these conditions can be fatal. Lastly, falls. Factory employees often have to work at height. While work at height should be discouraged by default, if an employee is carrying this without a harness or other safety equipment, a fall can result in broken bones, brain damage, paralysis, or even death. That's my message for the day. My company, Tagline is life's all about choices. In the days and weeks ahead, make the right choice.
Thank you.